Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. Today for you all, we have a Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box featuring Lunala, the nice purple uh, moon version here, if you will. Flip it over. There you can see everything we're going to get. If you want to pause there or read anything, yeah, I think you can still read that. I think that's focused well enough. If you want to pause and read anything, feel free. But I just want to crack into this and open some more Sun and Moon packs because, yeah, we, ha we haven't opened enough of these yet. So, gotta keep on going here. Uh, if you missed our Solgaleo opening, we actually had Cody open that one uh, on the channel. That should be up there in the iCards if you want to check that out. So you can see both of these in all of their glory. And let's see, I know you didn't show like the player's guide and stuff and some people said they wanted to see it, so make sure we show you everything in this opening then. So first open that up and there you can see it's got, actually it still has all the pack arts even though there are now five pack arts for Sun and Moon. Very cool. I always love these like inner liners or if you want to call them. And then the player's guide here. I never show these in much detail. I would just skip to the end. Ooh, there's Psyduck. Um, and by the way, we've gotten two Psyduck one pack twice now on PTGGO. Make sure you're following us. Twitch.tv slash the Capital if you're not already um, for all of that extra fun. But there's all the full arts and some of the hyper rares. Oh, so beautiful. Next page here, more hyper rares and all the golden goodness. And just to show you guys here, um, the, the hyper rares, Rainbow Column's got a star and an R on there. I know it's probably not focusing very well right there. And then down here, star and R, that is a rare rainbow. So they are rainbow rares, um, technically. And then um, the gold uh, trainers and energies, star with an S, that's just a regular secret rare. So we got secret rares, five of them, and then rainbow rares. Even though they're still secret rares because they're numbered outside of the uh, set numbering, but oh well. So you got the rare hollow GX, rare ultra, rare hollow, and so on and so forth. All right, let's dive in to the actual elite trainer box here. Get rid of all the garbage. All right, now first, we've got energy, and I've noticed the packs have different ones showing. Now usually, well, these all have 45 energy in them. You usually get five of each basic type. So let's open this one, shall we? Let's open this one. Um, so I've been hearing some things. Been hearing some things. We've got dark, water, fairy, metal, fighting. Uh, it, it's all over the place. There's the second dark. There's the third dark, fourth dark. Fifth dark, sixth dark. Seven. So there's seven dark energy in there. Uh, if we had seven of every kind, seven times nine is 63. So, um, actually, let's speed this up. Let's start this out and see exactly what we have in this energy pack, shall we? And there we go. And I can't see all the piles right now, but let's go through here quick. So again, darkness to confirm here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, dark darkness. E either way, either way. Water, we got just three water. Fairy, one, two, three, four, five. Five is what you expect. So we got average of five of each of those so far. Metal, just three. Lightning, electric, four. Psychic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fire, five. Grass, six. And fighting, five. So we got just three waters and three metals. We got seven psychics and seven dark. So they're kind of all over the board between three and seven of each. Again, usually you would get set, uh, five of each and every type in an elite trainer box. But now for whatever reason, it's variable. I have no idea why they did that. That seems like a very odd change to make. Um, before it was nice, like for this set, you know, if you bought both the trainer boxes, the Solgaleo and Lunala, you would, in theory, have 10 of each energy, which for most decks, you not very often you need more than to have the same type of energy. So for new players, you buy two trainer boxes, plus in the packs you get energy too. So you're, you're all set at that point. But now you might get, you know, just three of each energy in both. You might not get any of that same energy in the packs. So I, I don't know why they changed that. If anyone knows somehow, uh, let us know, because I don't know why they made the change. Seems like a dumb change in my opinion, but it is what it is. All right, the next up here, we've got the acrylic markers, including the GX one now. Again, this is hard plastic, you can't 
Maybe you could snap that in half if you try really hard. I'm not gonna try to though, but very nice little counter there. So if you're playing with a GX card, you start the game with a face up. After you use GX attack for the game, you flip a face down so both players know that your GX move for the game has been used. And you got the acrylic poison and burn markers there as well. We've got some beautiful purple dice here with the set symbol on there. Hard to show you there, but and you got the clear rolling die there as well. And I got the code card, which I believe will get you uh, sleeves and maybe a deck box. I always forget. Uh, a few deck dividers there. Four of them, in fact. We've got the beautiful Lunala sleeves. Those look pretty sharp, actually. I like those ones right there. And then, perhaps most importantly for you all, we've got what should be, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Sun and Moon. Well, let's see how we do here. Uh, we've obviously completed the set. Uh, Pass the next day or two. I mean to, I'll try to get a full set into a binder and uh, do a video on that for you guys as well, but we'll see how my schedule goes here. But we've got E. Roll, Cosmog, Fomantis, Alolan Grimer, Togedemaru, Fairy Energy, oh, Arac Araquanid, Araquanid, we'll go Araquanid, I think, I don't know. We're still learning. Experience Share, Spinda, Cloister Reverse, and and Cineroar. It's making piles over the place for all the different rarities here. So we have a little bit less to sort out later because we still are sorting through all of our other like low rarity stuff. So, so much to sort. Makuhita, Snubble, Alolan Rattata, Sand Isle, Kiki Peck, Fighting Energy, Hypno, Trumbeak, Rainbow Energy, Bruxish Reverse. That is our second reverse rare water type in two packs. And a Parasect. So don't bring with them uh, any good uh, card in the rare slot, at least not in those two packs. I'll keep on trying here, though. We got our Rag and Roll again. Kazmog, Fomantis, Alolan Grimer, all duplicates here from the first two packs. Togedemaru, Grass Energy, Pelipper, Exp Share, Alolan Eradicate, Reverses a Switch, and the rare Primarina G. Axe, and actually came on a Primarina pack art as well, just coincidentally enough. And I don't have any sleeves sticking out here, so I put the card down for just a moment here. So Primarina GX, not one of the desired ones, but still better than getting a non hollow rare again. Come on, focus, come on, focus. We got Bubble Beat, Roaring Seas, not Skies, and Grand Echo GX Attacks. All right, so that's our first uh, ultra rare pull here in the Elite. Trainer box. Let's see if we can find any more, shall we? Hopefully we can find two ultras. That'd be pretty solid, I believe. Alola Meow, Peaky Peck, Eevee, Psyduck, Spiro, Fire Energy, Wishy Washy, Energy Retrieval, Cracker Rock, the reverse is an Alima, and the rare is a two cannon. So halfway through, four packs deep, four packs to go. Just the one shiny card so far, excluding versus, of course. Hopefully we can find at least one more Ultra, or definitely one more Hollow Air at the very, very least. Firo, Litten, Young Goose, Surskit, uh, Wingull falling out there, Psychic Energy, Double Carlos Energy, Dragonair, Alima, Reverse Energy Retrieval, and a Lantern. Kind of find the reverses. We got the two rare reverse water types, and then we got three trainers in a row. Kind of funny, kind of funny, kind of wonky. Right, let's get the Lunala pack treats us here from the Lunala Elite Trainer Box. Hopefully well, hopefully well. Chinchow, Morlul, Skarmory, Caterpie, Sandigast, Lightning, Energy, Big Malasada, Brion, Krakarak, Reverse, Kiki Peck, and a Rebombi Hollow Rare. So we got something shiny, not an Ultra, but gotta get the Hollow Rares once in a while too. As we demonstrated in our uh, 2000, pack, well, our 10 case recap video, uh, the nine cases from the 2000 pack opening, plus the case that Skrizzle opened on his channel. Uh, we demonstrated in there that it's, well, for instance, it's easier to pull that Primaria GX than it is to get a Hollow Rare Rebombi. It's easier to get a specific GX regular art than it is to get a specific Hollow Rare not including reverses. So, 
it, it's just funny how that works out. But there's 16 different Hollow Rares in the set, so it's very hard to get specific Hollow Rares. From 10 cases, we got 15 Oranguru Hollows. One and a half per case. That's not good. So even if you're just trying to get a playset of Hollow Rares, it's not easy in this set. In we got Zubat, Torkoal, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Dart Tricks. I might have done the pack trick twice. A Lowland Eradicate, a Lowland Eradicate Reverse. The rare is a Gold Duck, and then we got an Energy and a Great Ball as well. All right, last pack, last chance for glory. So in that previous pack there, I did the pack trick and then rambled and then did the pack trick again, I believe. But like I said, this is the last pack. Last chance for glory. Four and two. We've got a Chin Chow. More Lull. Skarmory. Caterpie. Sundigast. Water Energy. Pelipper. Ultra Ball. Corsola. Grand Bull Reverse. And the final card of this opening is... A Decidueye. So, pretty disappointing Elite Trainer Box, I'd say. Again, you get one hollow or better per three packs on average. There's nine packs in there, so you average two and two thirds per. We got the low end of that with two. One hollow rare, one GX, and they're not very good ones. The Rabambi, in my opinion, might be the worst hollow rare of the set. It's, it's a stage one, 60 HP, has one attack for 30 damage and one energy. It doesn't evolve again. And the ability, once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon. So, yeah, it can do some healing, and it's stackable, but it's it's just not good. It's just not good. And then the Primaria GX is also one of the lesser, less uh, impressive GXs as far as what it does. Stage 2, 250 HP. Bull Beat does 10+. plus. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to your Pokemon. So I guess it could do a lot, but... Um, the Blastoise with Deluge is not in the format anymore, uh, at least in standard, so I, maybe it's got a place in Expanded, but probably not. And then Roaring Seas is 120. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Grand Echo, GX Attack. Heal all damage from all of your Pokemon. So I, if damage spread becomes a very prevalent thing at some point, uh, maybe people will tech in a Premier GX Index for Grand Echo, so if they have a bunch of Pokemon close to getting knocked out, they Ninja Boy in or drop Prima Arena. Well, they can't Ninja Boy into it. I don't know. It There's definitely several, several GX in the set better than Prima Arena. So, fairly disappointing for the poll results there, but still, hopefully, you guys enjoy it all the same. If you did, or you just aren't already, please hit that subscribe button, rock smash that like button, visit the PokeCapital.com for all your Pokemon needs. We'll be working on getting more and more stuff on there over time. I know, so if you haven't already joined the Phoebus Cult, Follow us at twitch.tv slash the Poke Capital. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon goodness.